Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Disrupt Gaming Valorant video. Today we're going over 8 of the best tips and tricks for Brimstone that you need to know if you're maining Brimstone. No matter whether you are a Radiant level player or maybe you're an Iron 1, these tips are going to be useful for you. You're going to find something helpful in this video and if you do, hit that like button and the sub button so that you can keep up with Disrupt Gaming Valorant content here on YouTube. Without any further ado, let's hop directly into it with our first tip, which is a basic one, but a very helpful one, and that is one-way smokes. One-way smokes with Brimstone are my absolute favorite thing to utilize while playing him, and here's why. You can toss a smoke down somewhere, and then enemies cannot see you at all, but you can see them, which literally just leads to absolute free kills, and anytime I can get absolute free kills, I take it and I run with it. In order to do one-way smokes, you obviously need to put the smoke up on a higher elevation than where the enemies are at, and then their feet will pop out of the bottom of the smoke before they are able to see you. Some common spots for this are bind A site. Whenever the enemy team pushes mid, you can toss a smoke on the box and then absolutely obliterate the enemy team. There are a ton of videos that show you lineups for these one ways on a bunch of different areas, so I highly recommend that you go on YouTube and look some of those up so that you not only have great defensive one ways, but also great offensive one ways. Next up, we have an ultimate tip. And for this, it's to use your ult in tight areas that are hard to escape. This is a kind of obvious one, but it actually is really difficult to do correctly. Again, let's talk about bind A site. When you push up, U-Haul is a great area to use your ultimate because it can catch enemies off guard. And if there's one in U-Haul, it is really difficult to escape alive. This is the same exact thing with Hookah on bind. If you can place it correctly, it forces the enemies to either one, stay in that ult and die, push out of Hookah, or completely fall off. Using it in these small rooms is much better than just putting it down on site or something because then you're not doing as much damage and it's less useful of an ult for your team. Our third tip is going to revolve around team play and that is to time your smokes with your team. Basically every team at any level needs an agent that has smokes with them and Brimstone is that guy. These smokes become useless though if you just randomly toss them out without your teammates. You need to be timing up those smokes with when your teammates are pushing or say you're defending, you need to be using them to delay the enemy team in order to let your teammates go ahead and rotate. Again, when you push up, I highly recommend calling out to your teammates where you're gonna be smoking so not only do they know, but also that gives you time to line everything up, make sure everyone is ready for it, and then push in together with that attack. Our next tip is going to be a pretty advanced one that not many players do, but the players that do do this actually end up ranking up and winning some games for their teams, and that is to learn Molly lineups. Now you wouldn't really expect this with Brimstone because his Molly is usually seen as just kind of an ability you throw down to make sure the enemies don't push through, but if you learn some lineups for different sites, it can be extremely useful. This can be either post-plant Molotov lineups on the bomb, so that after your teammate plants, you can then get a lineup, toss it down so that the enemies can't defuse. This can be whenever you are pushing in, you have a lineup to clear some area of sight. Again, with Bind, if you're pushing out of Hookah, there's a really good lineup that gets all of Cubby, and then you know that Cubby is clear and your teammates don't have to worry about it. So finding these different lineups in order to prevent the enemies from holding every single angle and give you a little bit more map control can be extremely useful. On defense, this can be even just as useful if you know where the enemies are at and you know a lineup for it, especially after they've taken a site, it can be insane. And then our fifth tip is one that I find myself having to remind myself about a lot when I play Brimstone because I'm used to playing duelists such as Rays and pushing in and trying to be that entry for my team. But when you play Brimstone, you need to play back with your teammates and make sure that you are keeping those smokes and using them with your team. Like I was saying earlier, it's really hard to play Valorant without an agent that has smokes, and if you are just running in instantly and dying, or even if you're trading, say you get one kill but you die, your teammates don't have those smokes and those are much more important than you getting that one kill. So really make sure that you're playing back with your team and that you let those duelist characters entry frag while you get your smokes ready, get your utility set up, really bring your team together with that push. Next up, we have more of a mistake that I see every different agent make whenever they're playing against or with a Brimstone. If you did not know, Brimstone smokes when they're down, 
if you walk through them, it actually takes you longer to get out of that hazy vision than it does for the enemies to be able to see you. With knowing this, you need to play around your smokes and not through them. When you go through your smoke, the enemy is going to see you exit way quicker than you will see them, and you lose the fight 99% of the time. If you can play around the smokes, or even out of the sides of the smokes, this gives you a much better chance at winning those rounds. Also, knowing this, especially when you're playing on defense, you should definitely be watching your smokes to make sure that the enemies don't push through, because if they do push through a smoke, like I was just telling you not to, you're going to be able to catch them off guard and make a good play and get basically another free kill, similar to how a one-way works, because their gun will poke out, their body will poke out, and they will not be able to see you yet. Heading into tip number seven, you need to make sure when you're using brimstone smokes, you don't think about it as if the enemy can't push through, as if those smokes are a wall that they can't get through. A lot of times you'll smoke something off, assume they won't go through, but then they're through and they're killing your teammates. In order to prevent this, you can toss a smoke down and then put a molotov inside that smoke because then enemies will not push through. They might accidentally go into the smoke and get molotovs and you can do some extra damage that way. But if you are just tossing your smokes down and assuming the enemies won't go through and just letting them have that, you will instantly regret this. Make sure you think about your smokes as a way to obscure vision, but not to completely stop the enemy team from going through a certain area. Piggybacking off this tip, we have tip number eight, which is use defensive smokes to slow down a push. Notice I say to slow down a push and not stop a push. Whenever you use defensive smokes on where the enemies are pushing, Odds are they might still push through there, they might flash out of those smokes and get through, but you can still use these smokes to slow them down as they're not going to feel as comfortable running through a smoke as they would just normally clearing the site. You can also stagger multiple smokes so that the enemies are going to be peeking out at different times so that that way you can control the fight and that's really what you need to be doing with these brimstone smokes is you need to be controlling the fights while you're on defense because if you give the attackers the choice of where they want to push, when they want to push, and how they want to do it, it's going to make it way too easy for them. As Brimstone, you're a controller, so you need to be able to control what is going on on the site by using your ultimate, your smokes, and especially that Molotov all in combination in order to make sure you have control over whatever area of the map you are playing on. And that is going to be the end of this 8 Brimstone Tips and Tricks video. I feel like there's a good mixture of top level tips as well as lower level tips throughout this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to read every single one of those and reply to some of you. Thank you again for watching to the very end of this Disrupt Gaming Valorant video. Hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy the content and hit that like button as well. I appreciate you for watching to the very end of this video and I will see you in the next one.